Hi, I hope that you guys are doing pretty well today. So today I'm back in my rooms. I still have to go to FIU today to go study, but it's 8.46, so I have time, I guess. So I'm not gonna like try to watch anything because I have the whole day to study. So this time is gonna be me time, and me time is YouTube time. So I'll try to record the video while I have time for myself and also talk about today's subject. So we don't have any new subscribers, so I'm not gonna say hi, welcome to anybody because we ain't got nobody. But still, thank you for those 234 people that are liking and commenting my channels as well. And that is actually helping YouTube to um, send my content to other people. So thank you for staying around. Thank you for everything. So we're gonna talk about today's subject. So today's subject is my relationship with reading. So I'm pretty sure that you guys know that I'm a free medical student because I've been saying that like more than I don't even know time. So I'm pretty sure that you guys know about it. So as a free medical student, so I do have a good amount of reading that I have to do on the daily. And sometimes it gets tiring. Sometimes it gets really frustrating. Sometimes it gets interesting when you're learning about stuff that you didn't know what existed or you didn't think that you could learn about them. I know it might be rude, but that's how I feel about uh, me and reading as a pre-medical student and stuff. So reading can, um, I don't want to say invoke, but can make you feel a different, a good amount of feelings. Is that even grammatically okay? But I'm pretty sure that you guys get what I'm saying. But yeah, so you do get a good amount of emotion that comes out when you're reading. And they pretty much like depend on the kind of paper, maybe the kind of thing that you're reading. So I just wanted to talk about my relationship with reading and how I read every day. I'm trying to read every day, even though I don't like reading. Yeah. So uh, to better understand my relationship with, with reading, so we need to go back in high school. In high school, I was not the um straight a student or maybe the student that was always into his book because he just liked knowledge that much and was trying to get the grade that bad i was always studying in high school that was not me in high school i was pretty much a guy that didn't know anything i didn't even know if he had assignment or not and i would literally wake up put the clothes on and go to school hang out with friends and then do the same thing every day over and over again and be surprised when I get my grade back but the thing with me is I fail but not a lot but mostly I always kind of like manage to pass even if it's by one point we're not gonna talk about this today so um let's come back to re uh, reading so reading was not something that I was interested in to doing because it was a waste of time for me because I always thought that I could have used the reading time to go and do other things such as watching a show or maybe wait until my, parent go, my parents go to work or maybe go somewhere to go and see a friend or even, I don't know, try to do something that is not related to reading. It's not related to uh, school or anything like that. Maybe go cooking. I used to do that a lot. I used to wait until my dad go to work. Maybe my mom is out to actually go and cook something. Even though I have no idea how to cook it. But I would actually, but I would have actually go try to find something in the kitchen and try to make something up. And be like, hmm, is that the way that it works? Oh, no, it doesn't. And I'll just like throw everything away before they come back. So that's the thing that I used to do. So back in high school, I'll say high school or... Uh, not even high school really like high school middle school so i didn't read a lot so i will re i will read something if i have to if there is an assignment i will absolutely absolutely go and read it but if i don't have to do it i will not do it even if it was trendy back in high school for i don't even know why but when it was time for me to move out like one here it was still high school so i'm not gonna say back in high school i didn't like reading because i started like getting interested into reading i think in 10 or maybe 11 grade so that was the time when i was getting into coding and i the thing with 80 is i didn't really have access to internet i did have access to internet but it was really limited for like a limited time 
so that's why i was not able to go on youtube and watch videos and coding so the thing that i did instead is was download a book on really big databases and save them on my tablet or maybe on my phone so that i can read them later and practice what i'm reading so that's like when i've started getting used and maybe interested in reading but it was not like nothing personal on me like trying to get to know more about a subject type of thing relationship so it was not me being like oh i love reading so much i'm gonna read every day and i think this kind of mentality kind of like stays did stay stick to me in college as well because when I'm reading, right, so I'm not reading just because I'm like, oh, I love reading so much and I'm going to learn so many things, so many new words. I'm not saying it's bad to kind of have like this kind of mentality while you're reading, but uh, my mentality while reading is not the same and will never be the same as the thing that I just described and we tried to describe. So when I'm reading, so the thing that I think about is, so what am I going to find out? So how different i'm gonna be from when i started until i finish so um how many pages do i have to go to how many chapters do i have to go to and that's why before i read anything right if i do have a book i will go to every single chapters before i start reading and mark them down so i do have something over there that i want to share right so but don't call me crazy for it That's not this one. So, I do know I bought this book so that I learn more about chemistry because I'm obviously interested as a pre medical student. And this is one of the things that I did. So, that's what I'm talking about when I say that I marked chap chapters down. So, I will get those things at the library, right? And put them on every single chapter and kind of like skim every chapters before i read them and be like mm, that's what i'm gonna learn that's what i need to find out so i'll take what i don't even know what they call those but i will take them and put them at the beginning of each chapters so that i don't even know why just because i want to know what i'm gonna get into i want to know what i'm gonna read so i guess that's why i do it but that's pretty much like the way that i go through every single that i do use with every single book that i have to read kind of like mark everything down and i will know exactly how many chapters that that book has before i even read it i don't know how why i don't know why i'm interested like why i'm interesting into the chapters maybe like the way that the book is structured instead of content that much but that's the way that i am so my relationship is with reading it's kind of like a toxic relationship if i can say it because i don't like reading just to read i don't i don't like read i don't like reading just to read but i will read because i know there is something that i need to find out and i'm gonna find the thing by reading so that's why i'm reading i hope it was clear for you guys for those who didn't know but i was thinking about it yesterday and i said okay cool that's gonna be two days sub video subject maybe two days subjects it's now today's subject so that's why i recorded the whole video before i go to fiu again and study for the whole day so i will see you guys tomorrow i don't have any new subscribers so to the 234 people thank you and i'll try to come up with something else tomorrow in the meantime stay safe bye